Hello again everybody, this is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout and thank you for tuning into this Autism Hangout Beyond the Headlines report. Every day, parents and teachers of kids on the spectrum are discovering the effectiveness of computers as learning and communications aids. But Apple's introduction of the iPod Touch and the iPhone and most recently the iPad have kicked the development of educational and AAC software into hyperdrive. And what com what's coming out today is nothing short of remarkable in its ability to engage, teach skills, and provide communications assistance to those with disabilities. With me today is the founder and CEO of Assistiveware, the manufacturer of ProloQuo2Go, which is one of the leading pieces of software out there today. Assistiveware is an Amsterdam-based software company that's meeting the needs of challenged individuals, especially those with autism. So Autism Hangout, please welcome founder David Niemeyer. David, it's awful nice to have you here this morning. That's my pleasure. Okay, I, um, uh, I have to ask the starting, the beginning question here, which is how did you get into the business and specifically why did you decide to choose the marketplace of com communications and educational software for challenged individuals? Well, um... Originally, by training, I'm an environmental geographer. I have a PhD in environmental agricultural sciences. Uh, but back, I think it was 1995, a friend of mine had a very serious car accident, broke his neck, and uh, asked me at some point whether I could help him to do the design work that he used to do by hand, now on the computer, uh, using a head-controlled uh, mouse, a head mouse. Mm -hmm. And that kind of got me involved. Uh, I developed an on-screen keyboard for him. And at some point he said, well, can some other people use it? I said, okay, I'll make a version that can be more widely spread. And, you know, it, from one thing to another, you kind of start rolling into two things. Mm -hmm. So uh, over the last 10 years, more or less, uh, a whole series of applications was developed, all for the Mac. Uh, for people with physical impairments, people with vision impairments, people with speech impairments, reading impairments. How did you first get exposed to people with autism? Um, mainly through the use of the Mac software. Mm -hmm. um, we, we make a software that uh, is used quite a lot by people with autism, mm -hmm. uh, but the real huge exposure is through Cloak to go It was a nice piece of software, but no one wants to carry a laptop around all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, people with autism tend to be uh, more ambulatory and move around much more than than some of the other people who actually like mount a laptop on a wheelchair. When Apple uh, opened up the iPhone to third-party developers, it, it just was a natural choice to to have as a first product something that that worked in the communication uh, arena, mm -hmm. and uh, that was picked up, you know, at a very large scale by by people with autism. Mm -hmm. um, because I think it's a very natural fit. For those that are not familiar with ProloQuo to go, could you give a brief description of what the product is? Basically, it's an, uh, a communication solution uh, that can be used to use the iPhone or an iPad as a communication device. So it's, it's for AAC purposes. Mm -hmm. um, it provides a, a large set of symbols, a uh, pre-programmed vocabulary, but you can completely customize it. But you can also, for example, use a text area to just type text. Here's the home screen. How to speak items. You can press buttons and the items are spoken. Hi. Bye. Hi. Hello. The words go up into the message window. How are you? You can press the message window and the message is spoken. You can press anywhere along the message window. Hi, hello, how are you? You can delete items by tapping the key labeled with the X. You can double tap to clear. Typing messages. You can type out messages using either the alternative keyboard or the typing view. Here's the alternative keyboard. Keyboard. You can see these keys are much larger than the standard keyboard. It may be helpful for some people. Let's now check out the typing view.
Let's type out a message. <laughs> you can speak that message. Let's go out to eat. Or you can send it up to the message window. What sort of comments are you actually hearing back from users? Well, we're getting a lot of very, very positive feedback. I think the key thing is that we've achieved two things with Prolog to go. One, we've created something that works on a very cool device, something that kids love to take to school, that people like to, to take you know, when they go out for dinner. Uh, it's not heavy. Um, it looks good on you when you carry it around. Uh, so that's one thing. And the other thing is that we've found a way to offer something at a, a price point that makes it available for so many people who, who just not afford the traditional solutions. Mm -hmm. And it's under $200 US, is that correct? Yes, that, that's correct. Okay, David, if somebody is unfamiliar with the use of the iPod Touch or the iPhone or the iPad for that matter, how would you describe your products to them? Well, the nice thing about the, the, the iPod or iPhone or iPad is that it's completely touch-based and that is a very natural fit for most people. So many people who, who do not like technology actually find that they can work very well with these devices mm -hmm. and our software is a kind of natural fit to that. Everything is touch-based, uh, works rather naturally. Um, it's something you really have to see uh, to believe <laughs> these kind of devices. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say just go into any Apple store and, and, and see how, how your child responds to, to, for example, the iPad. Especially for the iPad, we're hearing many, many stories of how it really attracts uh, people on the autism spectrum. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it seems to be a very, very natural fit. And you shouldn't only look at you know specialized software like, like what we make, but many of the programs made just for kids in general or for drawing or designing, um, you know, often, you know, extremely affordable or even free, they are a huge hit uh, mm -hmm. with people with, with autism. That, that's at least what we're hearing um, from around the, the US and Canada. It it's really works very well, these devices. Mm -hmm. Well, I can certainly confirm that from what I've heard from the Autism Hangout audience as well. The iPad especially uh, seems to be an extraordinary communications and in instructive tool. Um, David, how can people get more information on your products? Well, they can obviously visit our website, which is assistiveware.com. Um, and then for Proloco to go, we have a separate website called prologotogo.com. Okay. Uh, we have an active user community forum that you can find through the website, where you can exchange ideas with other users and also learn a lot from those other users. And then we have uh, a Facebook page, uh, Proloco to go, um, that is also quite active. Um, I think it's really important to realize, though, that while we have made it possible for anyone, uh, almost anyone, to just go out and, and buy an iPad and, and get our software, um, often it's still a good idea to see, for example, your local uh, speech-language pathologist to help figure out whether you know, this is really the right solution for your child um, and also to help you with how you customize and personalize it. David, thank you for what you do for our special kids. It's a delight to be able to talk to you today and have you share some of the knowledge and your findings over there. And um, I, I would hope that in the future, if you come out with new products, that you'd give us a buzz and we'd be able to um, highlight this sort of a product to the Autism Hangout community because we're always looking for ways to help our kids thrive with autism. Well, that sounds great. It's been my pleasure and uh, we'd love to share uh, the, the things that we're working on and the new products and when they become available. Thank you again for coming on today. No problem. Thank you. And thank you Autism Hangout. I'll be back again soon with another Beyond the Headlines report.